Hey, this is Ricky Rocket, and this is my booth, Rocket Drumworks. It's my company, and we're here at NAMM 2012. And uh, what we have that's special this year is we have a, uh, a all maple kit that I'm probably going to take out on tour. It is a uh, painted with UV paint, and uh, it, you know we can use a black light on it. As you can see, we got it flickering. And uh, this was painted custom by uh, Craig Frazier. And features my double wide hoop. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's the fun thing, and then you can paint that, and it gives it another. It doesn't really do a whole lot for the sound, but uh, it looks cool. It sure looks cool. Oh, yeah. And it protects the actual shell a little bit more. Sure. Um, what we have up here is a wrap, and this is Brendan's personal kit that somebody bought. <laughs> So this guy actually are, bought it. Are you introducing this as a as part of the series? People can order this yet? Well, they can order a con. You know, we have a couple of different comic books that we did. Brendan just wanted this, and then somebody ended up wanting to buy it. So gotcha. Let's take a look at some of these down here too. And by the way, this has a round. If you notice, this has a round uh, plug, whereas some of these feature our standard plug, which is a lug lug. It looks like a is it sort of hexagonal a wheel kind of on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, most of these are our maple snares in here. Uh, on the other side, which I'll show you some of our solids. Um, this is actually a wrap as well, um, and it's our bomber lugs. Oh, those are very cool. Are those new? The bomber lugs? Oh, they what? Are the bomber lugs new? Uh, no, I did introduce these a couple years ago. Okay. And we actually did something for RCI. Um, we actually uh, let him use these lugs for his uh, atomic bomb snare. Cool. Well, that's where they came from. Man, I like this. This is a transparent candy paint, and that is a stain down there. So there are two ways of doing uh, more of a high gloss kind of thing. And these are all uh, maple ply? These are maple, yeah. Gotcha, okay. These are maple. Now you this is a maple kit, and this is a wrap, and it's one single piece. I'm going to show you in a minute what happens when we don't do a single piece. Um, but this is a single piece, so it's a very simple way to go and still look custom. So is, is this particular kit offered in just a couple of configurations or can you order? No, we can do this in any configuration. Which brings me to our most expensive kit that we have out right cool. now. Cool. This is for a customer named Harley the Winner. He's with a band called Undivided. Oh, this He's is only tricky. 14 years old. Huh. This is five ply maple with a carbon fiber liner. It holds it on. Wow, okay. So you get the fundamentally lower pitch of a thinner shell, but at the same time you get the structural integrity of a thick shell. And the carbon, that splash. the carbon fiber probably adds a little bit of slap to it, too, I would say. It does have a little bit of slap, but it's not crazy. Um, you would think it sound like a timbali if it's not. And actually, because of the form of that wood, the slow vibration of the maple, it actually brings that pitch down and it sounds really nice and woody. It's a great sound. Who did, the, who did the paint job on this? The same guy did this did that. Uh, his name's Craig Frazier. And this is paint, and it's actually cleared with a flat clear. We wanted a flat look. So we went with a, uh, a flattening agent in the clear. This is the same thing. It's got the carbon fiber inside. That's cool. I have my friend Guy from Guy Drums do this wrap, and if you feel it, it is all separate pieces of glass glitter. Oh, wow. You know drums, so you know how much work that was. That's intricate, yeah. This is actually a double kick kit. I took this on tour last year, so this was on the 25th anniversary tour. Very nice. This yeah. is our wrap that uh, actually lights up. Oh, it's got a light on the inside? It, the, the wrap itself lights. Oh, the it's wrap got, lights up. It's got no light bulb inside of it. Oh, that's crazy. It's got entire wrap lights up. So you could do an entire kit like that? Absolutely. Yeah. We could sequence it. We could uh, put triggers on it, and we could have each one light up as you hit it. This is another standard maple kit, one with a 26-inch kick drum, custom paint, custom powder coating, gloss black, we wanted something gloss. We wanted to capture the feel of like a 70s, late 60s, early 70s muscle car. I love this, the uh, painted oversized badge. That is just, I mean, it's not subtle, but it's really cool. <laughs> well, you know what? It kind of like brings in a little bit of that Big Daddy Rock feel. Exactly, you know? yeah. 
So then we get into some of our stains and some of our solids. Oh, wow, okay. Um, we have some really beautiful solids that, uh, that I prefer, uh, personally. I love a solid, solid shell. There is one, this is a, a, a this and this are actually um, uh, maple, but everything else are solids.